Well, what's the story, everyone? You've just tuned into The Warehouse, a new show here on City Channel, which gets me into bed with comedians, up and coming Irish bands, and also other cool items thrown in there to whet your appetite. Well, when I say into bed, I don't like really mean in bed, like myself, a comedian, a lot of band members, all in bed. It's just. Ugh. Anyway, all that's coming up on The Warehouse. Now, us Irish love a good joke, and naturally we have a deadly sense of humour. Well, Aidan Killian certainly thinks he does anyway. Aidan, welcome, welcome to the warehouse. Nice one. It's good to be here, Eric. Thanks um, for having me. No, no problem, no problem. Uh, you used to be a, a, an investment banker, didn't you? And now you're a comedian. That's, that's right, yeah. That was, was, was a different life. You know, it's, that's been a while. I haven't had a real job in, in quite some time. In fact, I've been unemployed now about this long, Eric. <laughs> 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 and, uh, but when I worked in the bank, I did, I suppose, what everybody who works in a bank or a financial institution does, you know, you know, sit in front of the computer, copy, paste, enter, copy, paste, enter, copy, paste, enter, over and over again. And every time I pressed enter, like a little bit of my soul died, you know, it was, it was like <laughs> screaming at me, just get out, get out, help this me. isn't for you. Yeah. <laughs> help, help. <laughs> and, uh, but because I worked at the bank, you know, people always think I understand what's going on in the Irish economy. And I kind of do, but my friend at the bank explained it very clearly. He still works there. He said, well, you see, the international markets have lost trust in, in, in Ireland because Irish bonds are shite. I was like, what are you talking about? Pierce Brosnan is the man. What <laughs> 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 um, do you, like, would you yeah. ever say anything like, serious about the economic... Do, I, I do. I try not to because there's so much negativity out there. I like people to go to comedy and just, just have fun and just, you know, basically leave feeling really really happy but yeah sometimes yeah. sometimes i do i talk about the fact that when people pay tax their tax money is going to you know to to to, to, to give that your money's going to international wealthy banks international individuals are taking our money and that, that's i mean there is nothing funny about that no you know, no no it's a bit scary and but and apart from no, but to, to, to get off it's like doesn't matter because you're like a really, really good looking man, you know that way? <laughs> well, like if, if I was that way inclined, I, I definitely probably would. If, if. Um, <laughs> is it true that you get loads of women? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was going by one of your gigs the other night and there was like thousands of girls outside with hoardings and uh, effigies burnt. Actually, those effigies were burning. <laughs> 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 you know, well, <laughs> women like comedy. I mean, actually, there's, there's often more women at uh, comedy clubs than men. Really? Yeah. 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 Less women there, comedians, but there's more. Is there a reason for that? Or do well, probably because probably I'm on stage. <laughs> 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 and uh, what's, what is your view on, on Irish women? I, I love, I, I genuinely love Irish women, and you know they're like Celtic goddesses. You know, I, I lo- and I'm very lucky. I've had some very special women in my life. I've had uh, three. Your mummy. Se- serious. <laughs> your mum. Your mummy. <laughs> 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 no, I've had like uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is not suitable. <laughs> uh, no, I've had three serious, meaningful, long-term relationships uh, so far this week. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, if you and Irish women, Irish women are difficult. They are very, very, very difficult to chat up. Uh, and I read, I read actually that the most difficult women in all of Europe to chat up, according to FHM. So that must be true. And <laughs> but, yeah. the, but they say they are hard. I don't know about you, about, about yourself, but but they're they're hard to chat because they give you the Irish girl look. You know that look. You know the one. Yeah, it's a bit scary. Mm-mm. <laughs> and, and leave you there hanging. You know, like uh, about two years ago, I was in Argentina and I saw this really beautiful girl, and she did something that no Irish girl would ever do. She looked at me. <laughs> 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 no, but it's true. It wouldn't happen in yeah, Ireland. You yeah. know, like you're always me with the with the eyes of an Irish girl. Was that a look of fear, or like was, was it? it? <laughs> 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 she starts running away and all like. <laughs> <laughs> looking down an alleyway and then looking like in normal places. Like, I wouldn't mind, but she was a real fast runner as well. It was really, <laughs> <laughs> it was really hard to catch her. She was screaming, but it was all right because uh, anyway. anyway. <laughs> I'm okay, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so but you love you love the comedy, and then and you're doing it. You're doing it a, a while now, aren't you? And it's it's like you've your own club on in town. Yeah, on show every Wednesday. Laugh out loud. Uh, I've got a few few clubs, but laugh out loud. Yeah, I, I just I just love comedy. I love people laughing. It's great fun. So, uh, so I used this line to make her smile, you can use it if you like. Uh, Do you like smoothies? She said yes. So I said, eh. <laughs> <laughs> And then she smiled at that, uh, she smiled at that. So I got her phone number, and then I was going to ring her the next day. I wasn't sure whether to ring or text. Girls in the audience, ring or text. Ring. 
I write, I gotta write. I text her and, and she, she texts me back. Uh, and then I had the courage and the validation to, to ring her. So I rang her and then you have to go on a date. Where do you go on a date? Some people say go for a dinner. But I didn't want to be stuck there for three hours with a stranger. What happens if I didn't like her? She didn't like me. And then I'm fucking buying salad to, for a girl who's not even going to fucking finish it. So I said let's go for lunch. And I told her I'd meet him at three o'clock. Which is ridiculous because like, I'm a comedian. <laughs> Be yeah, I'm meeting a man about a joke. Yeah. And, uh, but we did, we, we, we went for lunch and we got on well. I mean, I liked her and I think she liked me too. So then there's day two. And you know, day two, if you, you, know, if you like her, that's why you're there. So you go somewhere good, somewhere that will impress her. Somewhere that she will remember you by. But I'm Irish, so we're at the cinema. And... <laughs> Well, at least I'll go to a movie she'll enjoy, so we're at Transformers, and, uh, <laughs> and you know when you're at the cinema, you get like the meal deal, you know the big American size popcorn and coke for eight or nine thousand euros or whatever, and you, and you eat the popcorn, and you give her some too, like, because you want to be romantic, but not too many, because they're fucking expensive, and, uh, <laughs> which is eat popcorn salty. So statistically likely, at one stage during that movie, both of you will need a drink at the same time, so you'll be like, <coughs> That's her, by the way. I also have that. So, uh, well, you, you, it, you, you, it's, I, I did, I did a bit of it myself. Y yeah, you, yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's a very scary, scary. It's a, like a very scary experience. I don't know. Do you ever get used to the fear before going on stage? Or I, is it I do. Like I nearly, I very rarely um, get get terrified these days. Recently, I was doing a gig in the lounge, in the laughter lounge in yeah. town, and I was really nervous because there was just like 450 people there. There was all these just, no. hens and stags at the front, yeah. and I was just thinking they were going to be drunk. But actually, they were lovely. Yeah. But beforehand, I was a bit they're going to be heckling me, but it turns out they were nice. And yeah. Did you, do you? You obviously get a lot of hecklers, I'd say. I remember heckling it myself a few times. Heckling yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Get off the stage, you're crap. No, you're crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. And is the, is like, the comedy club itself going well for you? Or is, is it yeah, I mean, Irish people, Irish people are, we need to laugh now. We need to laugh. I mean, it's, it's, there's a lot of serious stuff going on. I mean, recently, a good friend of mine, he lost his house. Luckily, when he sobered up, he, he found it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's negativity out there. People need to laugh, so they, they go to comedy. We've got good comedians, great comedians in Ireland. Yeah, there's lots and lots of them out there. And it's it? cheap. It's seven euros, cheaper than a hooker. I mean, uh, a, night <laughs> <laughs> a night out at the cinema. <laughs> do, you, are you do you teach? I do. I teach, I teach stand up comedy. I teach courses. It started off presentation skills through stand up, but people wanted to do it, uh, do stand up for, for the experience, for, for the buzz. Yeah. Just to stand up on stage once do it and have the crack and, and they, some, some people stay doing comedy but most of them just do it once off just to overcome that fear great fun yeah really yeah so you'd have, would you have businessmen coming and, and I get business people working in banks I get I mean I get all sorts I get actors too I get a I got a dentist in recently and I said you know I gave him a discount if he do my teeth and all <laughs> <laughs> he did a good job <laughs> <laughs> we can edit in a little sparkly yeah, yeah, make, them there, white. <laughs> make them all white <laughs> See, that's great, and it's all going. I'm delighted it's all going well. Have you any like? Would you have any advice for people out there who'd love to get up on stage and D just do it? It doesn't matter. I mean, the worst case scenario is you know you don't do well. So what? Like, it's fun. Yeah. Just find out whatever you think is funny. Share it with an audience. If they don't laugh, so what? If they do, you've added more laughter in the world and made the world a better place. I'd say do it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'd love you to come to one of my courses. Yeah. At www.comedycrashcourse.com. <laughs> so log there again. <laughs> Read this. Or there somewhere. Uh, <laughs> but, but even if you don't go to a course, it doesn't matter. Just, just go and do it. Go to the in Town Temple Bar, the Haypenny, Haypenny Bridge, or, or my place on Shaw in Camden Street. We get your gig. Get up there. And, and then bring lots of women and they'll see you. And they'll Great stuff. Like, and what's the website again? Uh, www comedycrashcourse.com or laughoutloud.ie And is there an Aidan Killian? Dot com as well? Yeah, there's an AidenKillian.com. So, AidenKillian.com. So you're whoring whor yourself out with the yeah. websites. Okay, well, Aiden, thanks very much for coming nice in. Nice good to be here. Here's down, man. Thanks nice very much. Here. Okay, cool. What a funny bloke and a, and a really nice guy to boot. Uh, next up, we have an animation from Emlyn Lewis from IADT. Check it out.
<laughs> I honor you to death. You are no match for me. I'll get you. You fool. Cool, huh? Parody of a game from back in the day when men were men and sheep were nervous. If you like any of your shorts, animations, or any a homemade movie, easy, easy lads, not that type of homemade movie, <laughs> shown on the warehouse, email them into me here at eking at city.ie, or you can check out the details on the website. It's www.city.ie. Time for a quick break now, so join me after these. <laughs>